What's up guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will be talking about the Pilotfly H245 gimbal and some of my favorite features on it. This gimbal has 5 different modes but in this video I will just talk about my 3 favorite modes. Before I get into the features you can watch some footage that I shot using the 3 different modes on this gimbal. Thanks to Pilotfly Germany for sponsoring me with this gimbal. Although they did send me this gimbal for a review video, I still stand for my personal opinions about it and I will point out anything that I didn't enjoy that much in this gimbal. Here is some b-roll shot with the Pilotfly H245. The first mode I'm going to talk about, which is personally my favorite mode, is the lock mode. I like to shoot hyperlapses and the lock mode is the perfect mode for that. When using the lock mode, all three axes on the gimbals are locked. This mode is great when shooting hyperlapses, when doing slow shots or when following a subject in a straight line. Since all axes are locked, it does not work to tilt or pan using the grip. In order to tilt and pan, you have to use the thumb button and move it to the desired position. When I'm shooting, I always bring my gimbal since I have really shaky hands and I just love the silky smooth footage that I get with this gimbal. At first I had a few problems with finding the right settings on the gimbal and therefore I contacted the Pilotfly team for some help. They responded quickly and provided me with high class service which resolved my issues. As you can see here I'm on a quad bike in the desert. The footage is silky smooth even though we drove fast and we drove on a lot of bumps. This just shows how amazing the gimbal is. Next up is the Dutch roll mode. This is a mode where the gimbal can spin 360 degrees, creating an awesome effect. I have started using this mode a lot lately since it's a creative way of creating transitions or effects for your videos. I have not seen a lot of people use this mode in their videos, therefore it's a mode worth using, since your video will appear more creative and it will stand out from the rest. This effect creates a dreamy look and here is some behind the scenes footage that we shot and as you can see you just tilt the gimbal forward and press 4 times to enter Dutch roll mode. Then you use the thumb button to either roll to the left or the right. You will see me using this mode a lot in my upcoming travel film and I really think Pilotfly did a great job with this feature because I enjoy using it a lot. The next and the last mode I'm going to cover is the motion time lapse. This is a mode where the gimbal moves from point A to B, creating a more interesting look to your normal static time lapse. We see a lot of people doing static time lapses. Sometimes they can be great, but to change things up and make your video pop out, this motion time lapse effect is really cool. This is a mode that I have used a lot since I discovered it on the gimbal, and I'm planning to keep doing so. I hope you liked the video and that you have learned something about the features on the Pilotfly H245 gimbal. Until next time, thank you.